Almighty Shaka, your son, Henry Okoye, is offering you a gift of blood sacrifice of an innocent, caring, and beloved mother, as you demanded. Fortify him with your spirit. This world is full of beautiful things Expensive cars and diamond rings yes. Some kill their brother for the things of this world Expensive cars, diamonds and pearls The wicked man wants to have all the glory So he sells his soul to the devil Just because of money Vanity, oh vanity, silver will fade, gold will pass away, oh vanity, all is vanity, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul, and lose his soul. 
This world is full of beautiful things Expensive cars and diamond rings yes. Some kill their brother for the things of this world Expensive cars, diamonds and pearls The wicked man wants to have all the glory So he sells his soul to the devil Just because of money Vanity, oh vanity Silver will fade, gold will pass away Oh vanity, all is vanity What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? Where my class so I have to die now. Sister Ifoma, he must not cry all day. A maker's death is quite a painful one. Ah. But you must also remember that you still have other children to take care of. If it's the will of God, another Emeka will come to stay. So please, please stop crying. I just went to see your husband upstairs and I just don't like the situation I saw him in. The man is handling too much pain. He's suffering from the pains of losing a son and also the pains of a heartbroken wife. So please, you must be strong now and get your acts together. Okay? Please. <sighs> if you want to be strong, I'll try. this life. I think I was all right a few days ago when you came here. This morning he started complaining of headache. And I went upstairs to my room to get an analgesic for him. By the time I came downstairs, he was called worse on the floor. The next thing he said, I'm vomiting blood. I died after that. Oh. What kind of life is this? Oh, mama, what kind of life is this? Okay, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You have to take it easy. Huh? <sighs> Sister, here. Here's a check of 500,000 naira. I know no amount of money will bring Emeka back to us again. <laughs> but please, you need this money to help in other arrangements, you know, as regards the burial and other things. Eh? Please. please. it from your brother. Take it. Please. Please. Take it. Please. Thank you. So, 
My son, thank you. Thank you very much. May God continue to bless you. May He replenish your pockets. Wherever this money came from, God is going to give it back to you a million fold. I will always be the first to visit and console them. And no one ever suspected I was the one behind the killings of my poor sister's innocent children. It continued until I ended up sacrificing seven of them to the ribs of Shaka in renewal and revival of my wealth from the occultic kingdom. My mother. My mother was accused by all and sundry of being a witch who yearly ate up her grandchildren and defenselessly she was molested and forced to take in many oaths. Caro, your daughters came to the village. They laid complaint against you. They suspect that you are the witch that eat up their children. In less than 10 years, they have mysteriously lost seven children. They say you must swear to prove your innocence in case they are accusing you wrongly. Hi. Hi. Ha. Karu, this is not a matter of shedding tears. Human heads are involved. You must have to defend yourself by swearing. Mama, Mama, you must swear. You must swear for us, you are a witch, Mama. You must swear. Vera, Wicked woman. Vera, calm down. We have come to the solution. She must swear before this deity to prove her innocence. Vera, you call me your own mother, a witch, and I will still call you again. I... God knows I'm innocent. My husband's I am innocent. How can I kill my own grandchildren? My own blood. Then swear. Swear. She won't swear. She must swear. She must swear. Mama, you know whether she's innocent or not. Yes. We have had you. Cool down. Calm down. My husband. I am innocent. I am a Christian. How can I kill my own grandchildren? God Almighty knows I'm innocent. Then swear. Karu, move over here. If it is the only thing they want from you, and swear. Take off your footwear. Kneel down here. Take your collar and bite 
from it. God in heaven, you know I am innocent. But if this will make my children happy, I will swear. I swear by this deity. Oh. If, I, if I ever killed any of my grandchildren, kill me. I was promoted in the spirit world with more evil and diabolic powers to access and exploit various routes to riches. My brothers and sisters in Christ, do you know that it is possible for one to take someone's destiny? But if you are in Christ Jesus, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Yeah! We have various diabolic means of taking people's destiny. The first is by giving people goods on credit. The second is by lending people money to do business. And the third is by being extravagantly philanthropic. Such people must not be able to pay back. And in turn, their destiny gets transferred to us. Be careful and watch. What? Where? How? And who you eat from? Most times, in the name of what the Hausa people call Saraka. As you eat and drink from us, you're faced with a blank future. And everything that's good ahead of you comes to us. My brothers and sisters, Then came the day I was requested of adult sacrifice of someone I loved the most. Brethren, the next on my list
almighty Shaka, your son, Henry Okoye, is offering you a gift of blood sacrifice of an innocent, caring and beloved mother, as you demanded. Fortify him with your spirit. May his wealth, like an ocean, never go dry. By the grace, by the grace, by the grace of Almighty Shaka. for some time. I think I should share it with you. What is it, Mom? It's your brother. Each time I dream, I see him crying, looking so helpless as one who is in trouble. Today again, I cried a week after a terrifying dream. Mommy, what is it all about? I dreamt he died mysteriously. God forbid. I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mommy, this is serious. I suggest you go see Pastor Clems before he gets too late. Mommy, do you know this was exactly what I dreamt of the night before that he died? I saw him waving goodbye to us from a distance. Mommy, this is serious. You have to really see Pastor Clint before it gets too late. I'll see him tomorrow. My son, I... I had a terrible dream about you. In that dream, I watched you die mysteriously. Oh, God forbid, Mom. It's not me. It's not my portion. It's not your son. Amen. Is that why you're in this mood? Ah, come on, Mom. Get out of it, please. Please. So I had to visit Pastor Clem. I narrated everything to him. After praying, he gave the family a prayer and fasting session. He said that every member of this family should take it seriously. According to him, the same hand that has been causing all the calamities in our family is at work again. And we should pray so that God, God will stop premature deaths in our family. I've sent words across to your sisters. And I would like us to start tomorrow. It's just for three days. Ah. What a shame, Mom. Wrong timing. 
What do you mean by wrong timing? You see, Mom, I, I have a very busy schedule. Yes. Remember I told you I'll be hosting some of my business partners from Europe tonight at my house. And tomorrow morning I'll see them to the airport. I'll see them off to the airport. Then after that I'll take the next flight to Abuja for another transaction which will last me roughly um, two weeks. Then afterwards I'll get back to Lagos to see to my export links. So you see, I, I'm just so busy. So, what are you saying? Well, if you ask me, Mom, I'll, I'll say it was just, you know, an ordinary nightmare. Ah. I mean, people dream. But, but don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm against the prayers and all. It's just that I'm just so engaged and I, I won't be around. My son, it is not just a dream. Through dreams, God reveals things that are about to happen. My dear. I don't want anything to happen no, to you. No, nothing will happen to me, okay? Nothing. All right? Okay, tell me. Is there anything you want me to get for you? Anything, just tell me. Tell me. I want you to be alive for me. Mom, I will be alive for you, okay? I'll be alive for you. And you know what? I have a surprise gift coming your way. Yes. Come on, mom. Get out of this mood now. Huh? I'll see you when I get back, okay? Alright, smile for me. Smile now. Be okay. My mother called me last week and said the pastor told her that uh, my family members should fast and pray for three days against the premature death of the family. <laughs> but you see, she in turn doesn't know that I'm planning to give her a befitting burial. <laughs> what a shame. Poor woman. May her gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen, amen, amen. I actually came to find out if you know the country from which Gomek imported his late mother's casket. Do I still remember? But I'm sure it must be from the United States. Yeah, I want exactly that design. You see, my mom is very special to me. And I'm also thinking that uh, maybe I bring in the undertakers from the same company as well. That would be wonderful. Wonderful, Henry. But I'll tell you something. I think right now that things are like this, she deserves some extra care and affection from you since her days are numbered. Because no sooner the physical occurrence will take place, and once, once that is done, I'm very sure that you might not even see her calves. It all depends on how the entire thing is designed. Well, that's why I bought her the latest CLK Benz yesterday. And tomorrow I'm planning on flying her to Lagos, you know, for memorable and befitting dinner. But right now I'm, I'm thinking about Abuja, you know, giving her a big dinner in one of the big hotels. Henry the Bug. Yeah, my bros, my bros. Henry the Bug. My bros, we keep trying, we keep trying, <laughs> keep trying. You know something? You just reminded me of my family. You see, shortly before the past of six years ago, I took them around the world. Everywhere in the world. Give them the best fun they ever had. And then, off they went. Tell me, are you still uh, traveling to Europe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, but I... I wait her final rest. Then, psh, off you go, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get to it. To what? Um, newfound socks? Oh yeah. Oh. More money in our pockets. More, More power fun. to our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> the brass. Harry the bird. We just keep trying, yeah. keep trying. This world is full of beautiful things. 
expensive cars and diamond rings. Yes. Some kill their brother for the things of this world. Expensive cars, diamonds and pearls. The wicked man wants to have all the glory. So he sells his soul to the devil just because of money. Vanity, oh vanity. Silver will fade, gold will pass away. Oh vanity, all is vanity. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? This world is full of beautiful things Expensive cars and diamond rings yes. Some kill their brother for the things of this world Expensive cars, diamonds and pearls The wicked man wants to have all the glory So he sells his soul to the devil Just because of money Vanity, oh vanity Silver will fade, gold will pass away Oh vanity, all is vanity What does it profit a man to gain the world And lose his soul And lose his soul Oh, vanity Have you gotten so strong as to, to disobey the Almighty Shaka?